Turning now to our money lead and ethics group is suing President Trump, accusing him of violating the U.S. Constitution by accepting payments from foreign governments through his global business empire. This as CNN obtained a letter signed by President Trump saying that he has resigned from every position he held in more than 400 businesses. It's part of today's installment of Conflict of Interest Watch, and we're taking a closer look today into President Trump's laundry list of potential ethics concerns. Let's bring in CNN money correspondent Christina Alessi. And Christina, President Trump said this morning that the federal lawsuit is, quote, without merit. Is he right? Does this lawsuit have any chance? Well, it's really debatable because the plaintiffs in this lawsuit have to show that they are somehow harmed by President Trump violating the so-called emoluments clause in the Constitution. And that's really difficult to pull off. Essentially, think about it this way. You're standing on a street corner, two cars collide, and you bring a suit uh, because you're late to work. I mean, the, the person that is bringing the suit has to be damaged in some kind of way. And when I spoke to constitutional lawyers about this today, they said it's gonna be really hard for this group to show standing. But here's the deal, Jake. Winning the lawsuit may not be the end game. In fact, the, p the plaintiffs may be thinking that they could get a judge to force Trump to release important information as a result of this lawsuit, like his tax returns. Take a listen to Norm Eisen on our air today. The Constitution is being nakedly violated here. The judicial branch is going to step up, and if they order him to release his taxes to us in discovery, he's going to have to do it. So lawsuits at the end of the day, either this one or others to come, may be the only way that we will get to see Trump's tax returns. And that may be the strategy here, Jake. And there's been a lot of talk in Washington about diplomats and others coming to Washington, staying at the new Trump Hotel, which opened in Washington, D.C., just weeks before Election Day. Are, are there any new developments that could add to these ethics issues? Well, the, the hotel has become really an emblem, a symbol of all the problems that Donald Trump is going to face. While he, while he has relinquished control, he is keeping ownership of his businesses. So the hotel just stands as a symbol of that. And while we were talking about the emoluments clause with the lawsuit today, there's also a problem with the lease of the hotel because Donald Trump is leasing the land from the federal government. Now, one term in that lease says that an elected official cannot be party to it. Why? Because the government doesn't want elected officials profiting off of this federal lease. Now, the Democrats are making a big issue of this. They sent a letter today requesting that the agency that oversees this lease, the, go the government services, uh, the General Services Administration, they want it to step in and say Donald Trump violated the terms of the lease. And they think that his numbers, his profit figures, may have gone through the roof since the election, Jake. All right, Christina Leslie, thank you so much.